We're probably going to have to because the difference this time is that it's probably going to be 10 times bigger than the Industrial Revolution and it'll probably happen 10 times faster. So more like a decade than unfold over a decade than a century. One of the things that Shane told us was that the, the kind of current economic system where, you know, you exchange your labour for resources mm. effectively, it, it just won't function the same way in a post-AGI society. Do you have a vision of, of how society should be reconfigured or might be reconfigured in a way that works? Yeah, I'm spending more time thinking about this now and Shane's mm. actually leading an effort here on that to sort of think about what a post-AGI world might look like and what we need to prepare for. But I think society in general needs to spend more time thinking about that, economists and social scientists and governments, because I, 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 as with the Industrial Revolution, you know, the whole working world and working week and everything got changed from, from pre-Industrial Revolution, more like agriculture. And I think that's going to, at least that level of change is going to happen again. So it's not surprising. I don't would not be surprised if we needed new economic systems, new economic models to, uh, to basically um, help with that transformation and make sure, for example, the benefits are widely um, distributed and maybe things like universal basic income and things like that are part of the solution. But I don't think that's the complete, uh, I think that's just what we can model out now, right? Because that would be a, a, a almost an add-on to what we have today. 